Hello and welcome to um, this new tutorial. I'm doing a a little series of 20 minute tutorials, something something really simple for you to get your teeth into um, and something just to wet your brushes against. So the first one I'm going to do is how to do just a very very simple landscape and you can obviously develop this into, into something bigger and better so First of all, I'm gonna, this will be the hour outline. That would be our page that we were working on. And I'm um, gonna probably get a better pencil, which is easy for you to see. So I'll use that one instead. What's that 4B here? Well, the first bit I'm gonna do is just draw a landscape there. So we've got, this is all land. I want to have some land in the background. And the further away it gets, the flatter it gets, you don't get many um, big um, scenes unless you're in Switzerland or something like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is just put a little point of interest, a little focal point. And I'll, if you work out thirds, you're going to be pretty much there so we're going to do a little house there a little cottage house farmhouse simple and some trees just to break up this scene here okay and some in the very far distant distance there and that's that's how we're going to do with it so first that I'm going to use my, whoo, that was running away from any brushes. I'm going to use my Escoda Perla size 12 Synthetico. And I think what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of a, we'll put a dramatic sky in this. Dramatic sky, so I'm going to put a lot of water in here. Bring this down, bring this down there, just to, a bit more there, just to where the horizon is really. And the further down you come, the lighter this gets. And the stronger the sky is at the top. Now, there's a nice way of doing clouds. It's just to get a handkerchief, scrunch it up and press down. Don't rub it, you have to press down. There you go. And you've got some nice clouds there. Let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see there. Some clouds there. There we go. And we'll just lift out from the bottom. That's really all you need with that. So we'll just let that bit dry before we move into the landscape. Right, the next bit we're going to do is the stuff in the background, which is Essentially, the same colour that we use with the sky. So, I'm just going to... Along there, with the trees. Just doing all the same colour for this. Just carefully painting around the house. Tops of the trees. I made a bit of a... A mess on there but it's for the for the sake of what we're doing we don't need to worry about that I probably had a bit of muck on my handkerchief so I'm going to come down here with some water some clean water and that was just that mixture is just a bit of Payne's grey water right and now what we can do is Add a little bit of colour into this as it comes down. 
have some golden fields and I'm allowing that to to feather upwards into this area here and just push it up a little bit more but not too much because I don't want it to go too high up and already it's got a little bit of interest to it which is very nice now then, we need to let that dry so we'll let it dry right now then we are going to just move that down a bit we're going to start putting a little bit of work on those trees in the near distance now you've got the very far off bit of land and just to add a bit of foreground to that we're just gonna give another little coat over there and then that lets us feel that that land there this part here is a little bit closer to us because it's a little bit darker the further back you get the lighter it is so now I'm going to use a little cheap old brush this is a um, this is a, just an old liner a Dela Rowney 10.0 uh, liner brush and we use that by using, using the same mixture that we used on the sky and down to the bottom there These are very simple trees. I really like to paint these kind of trees. I think they've got so much character about them. There we go. It's at the back of the house. So we can just do the same all the way along here. Right now, my house here, this part is in the shadow. Let's just draw a little line for it under the eaves. There's the eaves. This is where the chimney pot is. We'll put a little couple of pots up there. And this side of the house, I'm going to choose in to have that in shadow. So I'm going to put a little bit of Copain's grey in there. Not too thick. There you go, and we'll put a little wall on that side there with little wall things there and at the front we'll put a couple of windows there. That's nice and easy. Let's get a bit of colour for the roof. So I'm using a little bit of paint, uh, a little bit of burnt sienna, and I'm going to just drop that in there. And just get a bit of uh, water with that, just to make that paint run a little bit more. And just round about there. I'm going to head the wrong way there. Yep, someone's in trouble. <clears throat> now, at this point here, we could leave it at that, but I think it'd be nice just to have a little bit 
our texture to this field. So for this I'm using a flat brush. This is number six. It's one of the most uh, langy nickel things. They're cheap and, cheap and cheerful. Right, I'm going to dab in some of my orange and burnt sienna and just with the, with the tip of the brush Just what little dabs. Let's just break that shape of that brush up a little bit. And just dab it all the way along there. And just dab it away. Dabbing down onto there. Just to break up that colour. As I say, these are all little mini little paintings they're great for exercise just to teach yourself about putting skies in uh, putting trees in and putting a little point of interest in there no oh, great shapes nothing there uh, nothing that you're going to hang in the national portrait gallery no oh, well. If you've got one of these little fan brushes, I don't know where. If you've got one of these fan brushes, they're brilliant. They are great for doing um, these little um, shapes in grass. So if you can, try and get hold of one of these. So it's like a stipple thing, and you just at this at the foreground where it's got a little bit closer to you. You can just dip your brush in a bit of burnt sienna, orange, not too much water, but you've got to have, you've got to be able to make it stick to the brush. There we go. And that's it. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. A nice little teensy weensy picture, 15 minute drawing. Um, hope to see you in the next one.